Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, we will complete the SIF server configurations. In previous videos, we have completed all other prerequisite steps that needs to be done before creating the SIF servers. In this video, we have two steps uh, left, that is creating the SIF servers and then adding SIF servers DNS records. Let's go back to the putty session. Execute the command vserver cifs show hyphen vserver and the vserver name vs1 hit enter. This will show if we have any existing SIF servers or not as there are no entries matching. So we don't have any SIF servers in this vserver. In order to create one, execute the command vserver cifs create hyphen vserver vs1 then the sif server name in this case we will give it as sif1 then hyphen domain in this case it will be nasadmin.org in your environment it may be different that you can get it from your domain administrator so hit enter now it's asking a username this username must have the required privilege to create a sif server in the domain or you can ask your domain admins to give their credentials at this point of time so that the SIF servers creations will happen in the domain. In my case, I do have a domain controller configured where I have a required privilege. So I will just type my name and hit enter. It will ask for password. I am typing my password now. Once you type the password, it may take some time to create the SIF servers in the domain. So no error came up. That means we have successfully created a SIF server in the domain. Now again execute the command vserver cifs show hyphen vserver vs1. Now we can see that a SIF server SIF1 has been created in the vserver vs1. Now the last step is to adding SIF server DNS record to the name server. So I do have a DNS server configured in my local desktop. So I will perform this step. So Usually, this step should be done by your DNS administrator or if you are managing the domain controller servers, then you can also perform these steps on your own. So once you log in to the domain controller server, open server manager. In server manager, basically two steps needs to be done. First one is to create host A record so that a FQDN will point to an IP address. And in this case, the IP address is the IP address which we have assigned to the leaf in the vserver. The second is the PTR record creations which will make the IP address to point back to the FQDN. Expand the section roles, then the DNS servers, then DNS, then the domain controller servers and then the forward lookup zones and then click on NAS admin dot. In right hand side click on the blank space, click on new host, then under the name section give the SIFs server name in this case it's uh, cifs1 we can also see a fully qualified domain name that is cifs1.nasadmin.org has been created and under the ip address section we need to provide the ip address of the leaf which we have created under the vserver vs1 now we can see that one checkbox is also ticked which will create associated pointer that is ptr record now click on add host click on OK and then close the console. Here we can see that a host A record has been created with the name CIFS1 with the IP address that we have provided. So now go to the reverse lookup zones, expand the sections and here we can see that a PTR record has also been created with the IP address that we provided with the FQDN that we created. So this completes all the steps that needs to be done to create a SIF servers. Now the vserver vs1 is eligible to host uh, SIF shares so that the domain users can access those SIF shares. That's all for this video. If you have any additional knowledge on this topic, please do comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And again, thank you for watching.